It is a big day for the small man as the Prime Minister, Dr. Eric Williams, arrives at the pilot farm project to make the first distribution of crown lands to farmers following his meeting the people tours. Lands totaling 1,210 acres are to be distributed to 242 persons for mixed farming. The Prime Minister noted that there were 100 agricultural farmers among them, in keeping with Cabinet's decision that a certain emphasis should be placed not only on people with agricultural experience, but also on people who were unemployed and had no land of their own. In satisfying that passionate desire for land which so many people had shared for so many decades, they were not only improving the employment pattern, but improving also the status of and giving dignity to persons who never had any stake in the country. The land for distribution was formally leased to the United States and used as a military base under the 1941 agreement, but was handed back to the government of Trinidad and Tobago under the revised agreement resulting from the Tobago talks in 1960. To ensure that every applicant has a fair chance, farmers are asked to draw numbers from a ballot box. According to the number drawn, a farmer is allocated a correspondent farm on which to grow under supervision and with credit and other assistance such food crops as are suitable for the soil and to rear poultry or other livestock. By taking landless people and making them farmers, we are starting off on a new line, whereby the children growing up may have the respect for the land which their fathers and their grandfathers lost over preceding decades. Thus we are not only helping people today, but taking a positive and direct step towards the reorganization of our society along the healthiest possible lines, taking people from the periphery of the city and putting them to grow food for an expanding population.